Um, wonder if you could maybe start off by talking a little bit about uh, Khalif Raymond. Obviously, made uh, you know a number of big plays uh, for you guys last year. But I wonder, uh, in your mind, what might he have to do to kind of nail down uh, a roster spot if there's still any any question mark? What can he do to uh, you know take that game up even a notch more this year? Well, I, I think at the end of the day for Khalif, you know, it's really about a continue to have the versatility he's had, where he can play multiple positions um, and really you know, be a big play threat that he was last year. Um, he's going to have, there's going to be a lot of competition with Cam Batson back. Um, but I think at the end of the day, it's, it's, you know, every year, man, is different. It's about making plays. And, and I think he has a good understanding of that. Maybe just a quick follow on some of the other guys, uh, maybe below that, as you say, it sounds like quite a battle. Um, maybe if you could talk a little bit about Cam Batson, Rashard Davis and, and Cody Hollister, Maybe some of their strengths and, and, you know, what makes them different from one another? Um, you know, they all, you know, do have different strengths. Uh, I think when you talk about Cody, you know, Cody uh, has great size. You know, the size you look for, you know, really good play strength. He has a versatility to play multiple positions. Um, you know, he's, uh, you know, really good in the run game. And, um, you know, I think he's a solid veteran to have because, you know, um, he's going to know what to do and he's going to play hard and uh, be aggressive, and, you know, that's that's one of the uh, leading mantras we have in terms of what we want to be as a team, so he reflects that now he plays. Um, when you talk about uh, Cam Batson, um, you know, Cam's got really good speed um, to take the top off the coverage. Um, he does have some versatility where he can go in the slot and, uh, and, give, you some, and give you some snaps there as well. Um, and, you know, he's got a toughness, as you like. doesn't have the size, but he's, he's, he's got some grit to him and some toughness that, that shows up. Cool. Anything on, uh, on Richard that stands out for you, Richard Davis? Yeah, Richard, you know, came in and really, really did a nice job for us at the end of the year. Um, he did it, you know, was extremely um, knowledgeable in regards to when we had our virtual meetings. Uh, he was on point with a lot of different things. Um, uh, so he was impressive, impressive from that standpoint. And, um, you know, he's a guy that has good speed, good quickness, good route runner, uh, you know, has some, has the versatility that the other guys have. So, uh, as you can see, you know, they all have some similar traits. They just go about it a little bit differently. Um, so we're looking to have a, a heck of a competition this uh, training camp. Paul? Hey, Rob, good to see you. Appreciate the time. We've talked mm -hmm. with AJ this week. Um, and he talked about not really expecting things to be different with a year of film. I'm wondering if you expect things to be different with how much uh, people realize he can do now um, and, and the way defenses will focus on him and be drawn to him. Uh, I, I think it's just a um, – he just has to continue to mature and, and put the work in that he's been doing. Um, I think um, you know, there's a natural progression that comes along with it as long as you work. And he's been, he's been putting the work in. Uh, he's been focused. Um, you know, he's been healthy. And, you know, so, um, you know, we just look for him to continue to work hard and continue to progress. Uh, I don't see any reason why that should happen. He said uh, fourth quarter fatigue maybe sometimes led to routes not looking the same. We saw how, how great a shape he appeared to be in. How much could you see that when you really looked at things and how much of a difference can he make with, with excellent conditioning there? Oh, I think, uh, you know, he's right in that matter. Well, sometimes with fatigue got the best of him. Uh, and that's, uh, that's something he made a priority of this offseason. You know, he came back in really, really good shape. Uh, you know, his, his focus, I think he has, uh, has an even better grasp of the offense than he did before. Um, and I think, you know, he came in with a hunger that's, uh, that's evident in the way he's been preparing. Thanks very much. Jim Wyatt. Hi, Coach. I was just going to ask you, kind of, how did you stay in contact with your players, I guess, during this offseason? What did you preach to them uh, so they would be ready um, when they showed up for camp? Um, I guess we, we did with the other 32 teams. We've done a lot of virtual meetings, um, um, you know, really trying to uh, do the best we can in terms of implementing um, whatever, uh, you know, nuances we, we, you know, we've had in the offense. But uh, for the most part, um, really a lot of Zoom meetings, uh, you know, trying to give quizzes and all those things as you, uh, as allowed. But um, really, 
um, the hard part is that you don't get to actually, you know, be with those players on the field and, and, and be hands on with, them. Uh, you know, but it was just really a lot of meeting time. And I know Paul asked you about AJ, but as far as being a perfectionist and really working on your craft, where does he rank maybe alongside some guys that you've been around? Uh, uh, you know, you know, they all, you know, everybody's different and got their own way of doing, doing things and, and getting themselves focused and getting themselves prepared. But, uh, you know, I think he's found what works for him. Uh, and, you know, I, Generally, I don't like getting in compa compa comparisons, uh, you know. But he's uh, mat maturing in a way that uh, that you that you that keeps you extremely excited about him uh, because you know he's trying to do everything he can to become to reach his full potential. Karan, good to see you. We are, yeah, good to see you, Coach. Uh, with AJ, just to kind of get back to that. I would imagine he's going to start seeing more of the opposing team's top cover guys. How does that change, you know, as far as, you know, how he has to prepare and how he has to go into a game? Uh, well, I think at the end of the day, man, with the, your game, your level of play has to raise with, with you know, um, each year that you're out there. You have to, you know, strengthen up some of those weaknesses that you had. Um, you know, and he's, he's working extremely hard to, you know, improve, you know, all the facets, facets of his game um, so that uh, when he does get those challenges from week to week, uh, you know, he'll be able to uh, hold his own. Thank you. Teresa. Rob, uh, how much uh, can it help with uh, Adam Humphreys if he's able to play the whole year? And, uh, you know, I obviously haven't really been on the field yet, but uh, in working with him this offseason, do you think that uh, he's going to be able to, to, to be that as you hope? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, uh, I'm excited about Adam. Uh, you know, I was excited when we got him last year, you know. So uh, we look – I look for him to uh, – you know, go out, come out this uh, training camp and work extremely hard um, and just con continue to be the player he was when he was healthy. Um, some things that, you know, he's been working on this offseason that, that that should help him as well. Um, he's gotten through the ankle uh, injury, so um, I don't see any reason why he shouldn't uh, he shouldn't come back um, and, and roll on all four cylinders. Luke? Hey, Coach, appreciate your time. Uh, Rashard Davis is a name that we've heard a lot from your coaching staff this uh, offseason. He's a guy that only had a couple catches last year. We haven't seen a whole lot of. What is it about him that has you all excited about his chances to carve out a role for himself this offseason? Well, I mean, based on his, his knowledge of the offense and what we do, you know, he has the ability to be versatile because uh, you feel like he could be a, 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 plug, a plug and play guy. Um, in you know, certain situations. Um, and he's, he's got some skill sets. Uh, he did a nice job for us at the end of the year. Um, he came in and, and, and uh, did everything we asked him to do. Um, you know, he was extremely, uh, you know, active and, and, you, and he showed up in the meetings in terms of his knowledge of, of the offense and, and being able to answer various different questions. And, uh, and he was extremely engaged. So uh, from that standpoint, uh, you know, we got excited about some of the things he could do and, like I said, you know, he developed nicely through the, uh, you know, being going from the practice squad to uh, coming up for a couple of games. He did some nice things. Mike mentioned that he was one of the off-season performance award winners, mm -hmm. and, and you just touched on that he was very engaged in the digital off-season meetings. Can you expand on that a little bit more? What did, what did it look like in those meetings for someone to stand out as being engaged and, and developing in that way? Uh, but basically, when you when you call on them and you ask them questions and uh, you know and, and you have quizzes and all those type of things and you know it's evident you know those guys who are who are, who are studying their playbooks and and, uh, and who have really bought into uh, exactly what you're trying to do in that setting you know uh, obviously uh, when we got hit with this uh, with the COVID you know things changed um, and he was one of the guys that uh, really embraced you know, everything that we were doing and, and, see, and seemed to get a great deal out of it. Eric? Hey, Coach Moore. I'm just 
curious about your expectations for the competition at the back end of, of the depth chart there. Um, is, is it wide open? And uh, in addition to Rashard Davis, how do you see guys like Cameron Batson and Cody Hollister factoring into that competition? Uh, it's, it is. It's wide open. Um, you know, one thing I know about all those guys is that they are going to compete. Uh, that's what they do. That's who they are. Uh, that's what we love about them. Um, and in terms of my expectation, I expect them to go out and be the best versions of who they are. Um, and then, you know, we'll evaluate from there. Rex Road. Hey, Rob. Uh, thanks for doing this. Uh, question for you about Khalif Raymond. Just wondering in your time as a, you know, as a player and coach in this league, how many stories have you seen like this with someone who gets cut that off and is on the practice squads and maybe close to being out of the league a few times and then gets to the point where he's catching huge touchdowns, you know, in playoff games? And so putting that in perspective and then also just what you think of Khalif moving forward. Um, yeah, I've, I've, you know, um, been around similar stories uh, of players that have, uh, you know, just kind of persevere through you know, through a lot of different odds, a lot of different situations, and he certainly falls in that category. Uh, you know, but make no mistake about it, it's, it's because he's worked at it. Um, you know, I think in terms of, of this year, uh, you know, basically it starts all over. Uh, you know, anytime uh, you're fighting for a roster spot, he's been he's been in this position before. He you know he understands that uh, you know he can build on what he did last year, but but he also can't rest on his laurels. So, uh, you know, he understands that he's in a competition. Uh, I think Raves and, and the coaching staff in general do a great job of making sure these, making sure our guys understand that uh, every every year we're trying to we're trying to bring the the best players in and the best players to make this football team. Thank you. Two more, David Beauclair. Hey Rob, I, I just getting in here. I'm sure you've been asked about A.J. Brown, but the, the sense I'm getting is this is not a guy who was inclined to rest on his laurels this offseason. How, how much of a treat to, to work with a guy who's that motivated? And, and two, do you almost have to reel him in from trying to fix everything that he perceives is wrong or could be better all at once? No, I, think, I think the thing that you love about A.J. is he loves football. I mean, that's evident. He loves football. That's his life. You know, it's, 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 you know, it's what consumes him. And uh, what better treat for a coach than to have a player like that, you know, could be the other way around. You got to chase him through the building and, 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 you know, tie him down to get him to stay there. He's a, he's a guy that you got to send home. You know, he comes in, um, you know, he's always, you know, he's always searching for different ways to run routes. So coach, what do you think of this drill? What do you think of this route? Uh, you know, he's just, you know, he's just a, you know, a, a football junkie, if you will, uh, in, in that regard. Um, and so I think, you know, when you have a player like that, um, you're fired up for him because you know it's, you know, he's going to put the work in and you know um, that he's going to do everything he can to be the best he can be. Last question, Terry. Coach. Adam Humphreys admits he doesn't look the part of an NFL receiver, but uh, do you think maybe in a way that that kind of, has motivated him to become the, the type of player he is? No, I, th I think what's motivated him is he's, he, he came in as a free agent. Um, he had the, you know, if you come in as a free agent, you know that you're grinding to earn every single opportunity that you get. Uh, and I think that's the foundation of who he is. You know, he's a guy who's, who's had to grind, um, and, and he, but he also has a great deal of confidence in who he is and what he brings to the table. Uh, I mean, he's not – arrogant or any of those things he's just you know just a confident guy who's worked on his craft and and, and really understands uh the art of route running uh, and if you know he can't come across as um you know one of those guys that you may look at and, and you would think he's a, an investment banker uh but i think that may work to his advantage at times as well 